Well, we've reached the end of our stories for this summer. But I'm going to tell you one more to end it off for this year. This story is about an engine who managed to redeem himself. The engine's name was Jack. For the longest time, he caused problems for the railway. But after he caused a silly accident, he was withdrawn and placed on top of a bridge. He still lies there, present day. After some time shunting in the yard, Tornado was ready to go back to pulling his coaches again. Make way for the Tornado! As Tornado raced past the bridge, Jack couldn't help but look at him in sadness. I wish I was on the rails again. Meanwhile, Royal Scott, the big shunting engine, was still sitting in the shed after what happened with him and Tornado last time. I can't believe I'm being put in the shed for something that should have happened to another engine! I shouldn't have to listen to that manager. You know what? I'm out of here. I don't have to listen to him or anyone else. I am now doing what I want to do. Not listening to him and not listening to those other engines. A little while after Royal Scott left the shed, Tornado started to go back to the station when he saw him up ahead. Whoa! Whoa! Shortly after the crash, Percy came with the breakdown train to load Royal Scott into the flatbed, and Tornado was soon lifted back onto the tracks. Huh. Uh, I can't move! My motor is overheated! No thanks to you, Royal Scott! Don't blame me for your stupid motor, and don't you dare talk to a royal engine like that, okay? You hear me? You hear me? Oh, shut up, Royal Scott! Nobody cares, you're not a royal engine! Royal Scott kept quiet after Percy's yelling, but Tornado couldn't move anywhere. The other engines couldn't help. They were stuck on the line, because of some broken points. Just then, Tornado's driver came out with an idea. What if we got the engine from the bridge to push you? You mean Jack? Well, he's our only option. Everyone else is busy. So Tornado's driver ran to the other side of the layout. He got to the bridge where Jack was. He looked up and asked him, Would you help us, Jack? Oh, yes, sir. Please, sir. Anything to get off this bridge, sir. As soon as everything was arranged, Jack was lifted back onto the tracks. The fireman lit his fire and off Jack went to help Tornado. After the tornado incident, the manager came to give Royal Scott a scolding of his lifetime. You have caused one of the worst crashes on the layout to date. I won't have this sort of behavior from any of my engines, and especially from you, you disrespectful, boastful engine. So I've decided to put an end to all of this. I've decided to sell you to the other railway in exchange for one of their engines. Hopefully you will act better there. Now, you will leave immediately! And so Royal Scott was gone, never to be expected to come back to the layout for a long time. 
The engines were happy he was gone, but no engine was happier than Jack.